This is Jerry Cobiello, a member of the International Federation of Fly Fishers Fly Tying Group to show how to tie the Clouser Minnow. Materials needed for this fly, a 3X or 4X long hook, thread gray 6O, eyes, dumbbell eyes painted red, throat white bucktail, wing crystal flash and chartreuse green bucktail, no tied with hook point up. First we'll attach the thread to the shank of the hook. Uh, just a note, if you were to tie this for a saltwater fly, uh, Clouser Minnow, I'd be using a stainless steel hook, but since this is for fresh water, I will stick with the regular uh, fresh water hooks so that if they do end up in the stream, they will rust naturally. And we will take uh, a measurement one third of the way away from the eye of the hook to attach the dumbbell eyes. We will add a uh, roll a lot of thread right behind where the dumbbell will be so that it doesn't uh, slide. It will also help mark exactly where to attach the dumbbell eyes. You want to uh, just wrap, lash them to the shank of the hook as shown. Uh, just keep crisscrossing uh, the thread over the dumbbell to the shank of the hook. Now we'll move the thread towards the eye of the hook and we'll take uh, a section of white uh, bucktail and we will uh, tie it. it is, it's, we will tie the white bucktail, it's the belly of the fly. Uh, as shown, what we do is we wrap over the uh, bucktail and pull up and then we'll go to behind the dumbbell eyes and we'll, we'll pull the uh, bucktail up and wrap the thread to secure it to the shank of the hook. Bring the thread back towards the eye of the hook and we will rotate the hook. You could either take it out of the vise and put it in upside down because this is the how the fly is going to swim in the water. But with the rotary vise we'll just rotate it. We'll take some crystal flash um, and tie it right where the white bucktail is and what we'll do is uh, the crystal flash will be slightly longer than the uh, white bucktail belly. Next we'll take the chartreuse uh, bucktail and tie it right at where we right between the dumbbell eyes and the eye of the hook and we'll take the thread, we'll wrap over it and on the other side then pull it straight up to uh, lash it and we'll build a head. You don't need to use chartreuse, you could use a brown bucktail uh, to make a sort of like a dace, but it seems like uh, the chartreuse is very popular for smallmouth bass. So we'll build the head and then we're going to whip finish the fly we'll take the uh, chartreuse and divide it evenly between the hook point. Now we'll take our whip finishing tool and whip finish a couple of wraps uh, and then cut the thread and then we'll add head cement to secure these wraps. Take a little red lacquer paint and uh, cover the dumbbell to give uh, the Clouser Minnow red eyes. You could even use yellow or any other color. Uh, in this fly I'm using red. This is the uh, finished Clouser Minnow.